Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm a theater. Today we are coming to learn robotics. I'm, I'm thinking about the model of the human hand. I think what are all these stripes on the human hand? Well, there's one more thing called circulation of blood. Circulation of blood goes like What's the name of the sensor that the robot is using to put in the line? The color sensor. The color sensor. Good. Now, what? How many colors are on the on the, on, the, on this on this board? Yeah. On this board? Um, two. Two colors. Yeah. Now, yeah. which of them reflects more light? Um, white. Uh huh. So, if the white reflects more light, and you want the robot to follow the yeah. black line, uh, if your if your sensor is calibrated, yeah. if you show it to the white, how much reflection should you get? Um, hundred. Good. So a white is supposed to reflect all the light inc incidents on it, which is hundred percent. And how much should you get from the black? Zero. Because what? The black will do what? Because the black will absorb more. High five. Corinna, so high elbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Because the black will absorb more all the light. So if we position the light sensor exactly half on the black and half on the white, how much reflection should you get? And 50. 50, good. Now, if the robot moves away from that position, how can we calculate the deviation? That's yes. what, remember by quantities. So how can we calculate? So you know that if the robot is positioned half on the black, half on the white, it should be measuring 50. Eh? Yeah. Good, so if it moves away from 50, and let's say it gets 52, how would you know, how, what is the error, how much error? You suppose two. two, how did you get the two? I got uh -huh. I got um now you know the error is two, but how what what went in your on in your mind to get that to that's what you need to program. Fifty two minus fifty. Good. So the fifty two is coming from where? The light sensor. Are you following? Mm -hmm. And then the fifty is what you should have been getting. Are you following? So at any point in time, what your sensor gives you minus your reference value is what we call error are you following um, what, what if your robot was played half on the white half on the black then you are supposed to get 50 so what would be the error there zero good so now program that formula the light sensor uh, yeah. minus what 50 program that and let me see I'll go to data operation. Yeah, do do it first, and let me see. I don't want you to ask me. Uh -huh. You do what do what you think is right. Uh -huh. You want to listen first. You want to calculate error. Error is what the light sensor value minus what fifty. Yeah. So program that and let me see. Mm -hmm. I'm looking. Good. So that is your color sensor, huh? Minus what? Minus 50 because that is the middle. You know, white is 100, black is zero. So you told me that if I put the middle, I'll get 50. So minus 50. Mm -hmm. Now, wait. Before you do that, the light sensor is, it has to do what? What are you using it to measure? Um, measure reflected light intensity. Okay, good. No, that is compare. Uh -huh. Okay. So now you have that. <coughs> that is your error. So store it in, a, you know, a variable. What's a variable? 
A variable. We've, we've discussed variables. What's a variable? In programming. I'm not saying do it. Tell me before you do it. I know you can do it, but tell me what it is before you do it. Okay, you do it. When you finish doing it, then you tell me wh why you did it. Okay, so name your variable error. Give your variable a name. already minus 50 tells you how much you have deviated just like when the license gives you 52 you subtract 52 from it you get what two yeah. like like if you have like if your light center is 54 and uh -huh. you 50 uh -huh. error will be four good so now put the answer the result for your subtraction put it inside the error which tells you that you know how to measure your error but remember this error can be what positive or negative if the light sensor measures 48, what will be error? And um, minus 2. And if the light sensor measures 55, what will be error? And 5. So you can see that the error can be both negative or what? positive. Uh, so those values, how do you call them? If the light sensor is 46, uh -huh. minus 50, minus yes. 50. The answer is minus 4. Good. So now, if an answer, if a value can be either positive or negative, good. So you know it has magnitude. So how can you use the vector quantity to control the, the robot? So let's look at a car. Let's say you are driving. You can either turn what left or turn what right. Mm -hmm. Are you following? <laughs> like this? You can either turn the car to the left or what? To the right. So we can say anytime the arrow is negative, we have to turn to what? The left. The left, and anytime right. the error is positive, you have to turn to what? The right. So you see that the error value you have, you can use it to control the steering of a car. So okay. now you need to pick the steering block, the move steering, and use your error to control the steering. The can you do that? Try that and let me see. Try to use the error you have measured to control the steering of the robot. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to use the, you know, you've calculated error already. You want to use that error. So how will you use the error? No, you need the variable again. So you take a new variable. Yes. Body, uh -huh. Okay. Remember, it has to control steering. Where is the steering? Show me the, where the steering control is. Here. Uh -huh. So that is steering. So now you want to pick the error and say that if the error is negative 2, it means the magnitude of steering should be 2 uh, and the direction of the steering should be what? Negative that's to the left. Are you following? If it is positive 2 or positive 3, the magnitude should be 3 and the steering should be to the right. So you want to connect the error to what? The steering. How would you do that? You do it and let me see what you do. That is the right thing. So you have to move it good before it. And you see, in a variable, you are either putting value in it or you are taking value from it. Now, you first, you calculated the error and you stored it in the variable. Now, you want to take the value from the variable and use it to control it. So how do you take a value for a variable? A value for a variable. No. So go to the model. Let's see. What do we have? We so you can either read or do what or write. So what do you do? You read. When you want to take, you do what? Uh -huh. So do the read and let's see. Uh -huh. And then how do you connect it to steering? Mm -hmm. Connect. Is it is steering? Ah, but you showed me steering. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, but you showed it to me that it, that is there. Okay, so turn the turn the motors on and let me see how do you turn them on. I've got the no control. Mm -hmm. It has 
to be the first in. I'll select. Not, you have to select. No, like, so put the loop at the first in. Move the loop to the first item in the block. Uh -huh. Then select all the remaining. Don't have the loop good. Now drag from the first block. Uh huh. Good. Give me an elbow. Mm -hmm. So what you've done is like a simple classical control system. Uh -huh. You have a sensor. You explain that you are using reflection. You have yeah. a white surface, a black surface. Yeah. You know that the light sensor, when it's on the white, if it's calibrated, it will reflect how much percentage. Hundred. And if it's on the black, zero. So if you want it to be in the middle, it will reflect how much? Fifty. So that becomes your reference value, and then you came up with your formula for error. Uh, yeah. What was your formula for error? The formula for error you can you, you, you put in there. What was it? What was it? The one you programmed here. So your light sensor value minus what? Fifty. Yeah. That tells you the deviation. Mm, um, how much you've moved away. Where's the robot? Let's see how much deviation. You want to test it on the robot? Yeah. That's what I was saying today. Oh, I've disassembled your robot, but 